All right, people, so now that we know how to create an array of strings, I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to create a quiz game. So before we begin, make sure to include these two header files at the top of your program. So let's begin with a 2D array of characters, and these will store our questions. And I'm going to set a maximum size for each question to 100 bytes. And we can go ahead and initialize this array with some questions. So remember with strings, each string is its own array. So let's ask maybe three questions, but feel free to pick any amount that you like. And come up with any questions you would like as well. Or you can copy me, I don't care. What year did the C language debut? Then separate each string with a comma. Then just to make this more readable, I'm going to go down to the next line. So this is question two now. Who is credited with creating C? And one more question. What is the predecessor of C? So now we have some questions, we'll need some options. This could be a separate 2D character array. Char, options, and I'll copy the dimensions from questions. And we'll create four sets of options for each question. This is the first set of options for the first question. And then let's add a second set of options for the second question. And a third set. Now we'll create an answer key. This will be a one dimensional array. So char answers and the size will be three. And I will set this equal to my answer key. So the correct answers for my quiz are B, A, B. So these will be individual characters, all separated with a comma, B, A, B. So let's calculate the number of questions that we have. So I will declare int number of questions and set this equal to size of operator, pass in our two dimensional array of questions and divide this by one of the elements because they all have the same size. Questions at index zero. And let's declare char guess to store our guess and int score to keep track of the player score. So now let's begin this. I will print the title quiz game, then add a new line. Okay, now we need to loop through all of the questions. So let's use a for loop. So we will have an index of i set to zero. And I would like to loop through this as long as i is less than the number of questions that we have, then increment i by one. And to test this, let's print our questions. So printf, we're displaying a string. So use the s format specifier, questions at index of i. And then I'll add a new line character after each printf statement. Okay, let's at least test this. So we should cycle through our questions. Okay, here are my questions. What year did the C language debut? Who is credited with creating C? What is the predecessor of C? And this part isn't necessary, but I'm going to add some text decorations. I'll just display a bunch of asterisks. I'll do that before and after the question. And let's try that again. Oh, then add a new line character. That's a little bit better. After our question, let's display the possible options. So we will need a nested for loop. So for, now this part's gonna be a little bit tricky. We need to begin our for loop at every fourth string. Within our for loop, let's set int j equal to i times four. So during the first iteration, i will be zero. So zero times four is zero, but during the next iteration of the outer for loop, i is going to equal one. So one times four is four. 
So that way we will begin the inner for loop with every fourth string within our 2D array of options. And the condition is going to be j is less than i times four, and then we would like to display four strings. This for loop will cycle four times beginning at every fourth string. And then we need to increment j by one. Now let's print every option. So this is a string, I'll add a new line, and we are printing options at index of j. And let's test this just to be sure that it works. Okay, so we have our question followed by four possible options. Now let's accept some user input after the nested for loop. Currently our program isn't going to wait around for any user input. That's why it displayed all the questions and options. Okay, we will create a prompt to have a user type in a guess. Guess, and we will use scanf to accept some user input. We are accepting a single character and use the address of operator guess. Now let me show you what happens when we run this real quick. So I'm just going to type in anything. Let's say A. Okay, so we skipped question two. That's because after using scanf, when we accept a character, we have that new line character within the input buffer. So we need to clear that. So one way in which we can clear that is to use scanf again, use the C format specifier, and that's it. So this will clear the new line character from input buffer. So this should no longer just skip question two. Okay, let's say A, B, C. Okay, so we know we can accept some user input now. Now here's one thing. What if somebody types in a lowercase character? I think that should still count, even though we're looking for an uppercase character. So let's take our guess and use the to upper function to make it uppercase. Guess equals to upper, then pass in guess. So basically we're passing in our guess, making it uppercase, and reassigning it to our guess. And let's write an if else statement to check our guess if it's equal to our answer. So if else, our condition within our if statement, if guess is equal to answer at index of i. Remember that we're still within the for loop, the outer for loop. So we have that index. Oh, that's answers, plural. If a user's guess is equal to the answer, then let's print correct and then give them one point. So print f correct and then increment our score, score plus plus. Else we will print wrong. And you can give the correct answer if you would like, just do that within here. Now, once we cycle through all of the questions, we can display a user score. So be sure to do that outside of the for loop, the outer for loop that is. So let's use printf and display final score. So I'm going to display two values. So the first will be the player score divided by the number of questions. So we have two integers to work with and we are displaying score and number of questions. And then if you want, you can add some text decoration to make it look cool. So I'm going to run through this quiz once and intentionally get one question wrong. So what year did the C language debut? That would be 1972, that's B. Who is credited with creating C? Uh, let's say Doc Brown, so D. And what is the predecessor of C? That would be B. Okay, and my final score is two out of three. So let's try that again, and this time I will try and get 100%. So the correct answer is B, A, Dennis Ritchie, and B. And my final score is three out of three. So yeah, I thought that would be a simple quiz game in C. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's a simple quiz game in C.